you guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and I'm gonna do a beginner lesson for this technique uh, Tuesday. And we're gonna just work on a beginner strum pattern, but it's one that's used a lot. It's super versatile. It'll really help you get better if you're a beginner. And then also a set of three chords together that are in millions and millions of your favorite songs. So this is just gonna be a very valuable uh, thing to work on here. Also, if you are still trying to like learn guitar, get better, and your rhythm you're struggling with and you, you know, you need some help. I made a course just for you, and I got a link for it in the description below. It's a beginner strum patterns for beginners. So I'm using the word beginner in there twice for you, just so, you know, I can help you out. And uh, I, you know, I'm really happy with it. So check it out. And here's uh, one of those ideas right now. All right, when you're first learning guitar and uh, I hear beginner students say, oh, you know, I can't strum it in time or like I can't switch chords in time. Well, when you're first learning, there's, you know, two elements that are going on. One is your rhythm with your pick, your right hand or your strumming hand holding the pick, hopefully. So you've got that whole thing. But then with your left hand or your chording hand, these are just memorized shapes. And the more you do it, the easier it gets to memorize them. And also, anytime you learn a chord, just know that's going to be used you know, thousands of times and thousands of songs. So it's okay to be patient with yourself because you're not just learning this one chord that only happens in this one song. It's actually in all the songs. So I picked three that are really popular and I picked a really easy strum pattern. And if you can't play it in time and switch the chords in time, what you're gonna wanna do is sometimes in a practice setting, just focus on your left hand a little bit, like practice the shapes without even worrying about the strumming. So I'm just looking at the shapes and I'm doing that. Other times you're gonna do what I'm about to do with you, which is just focusing on the right hand part of it. And then eventually you practice both of them together and then rinse and repeat and even lather if you want. Anyway, here's the right hand pattern. I'm gonna just mute the strings right now. Yeah, you can do it this way, this way. And I've got a pick that I'm holding, kind of pinched between my thumb and index with the point pointing, it, pointing out. And we're gonna do this. Down, up, down, rest, rest. Down, up, down, rest, rest. Down, up, down, rest, rest. Okay, we're gonna add to it. Down, up, down, up, up. 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 Very good. I knew you could. One more time. All right, we're going to add to it now. Down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. 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 All right, that's our pattern. That is one count of four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we're gonna do the, we're gonna learn the three chord shapes. It's G, C add nine, and D. Now, the different chords that exist, there's different ways to play them, and those are called chord voicings. So these are the voicings I'm gonna show you right now, and they go together in any combination. We're gonna do it starting on the G chord, but you can play these in any order, and they sound good together. So here's the G chord I'm gonna show you. Middle finger's gonna be on the third fret of the E string, and then I'm gonna go second fret A string with my index finger. And my ring finger is gonna be on that third fret B string. And then my pinky is going to be on the third fret high E.
So even with just that chord. So that's the G chord. The C add nine was the other one I mentioned. And what's exciting about this is it, it's very similar. So what we're gonna do is just take our middle finger and index finger and go down a string each. So now my middle finger's on the third fret A string and my index is on the second fret D string. And I'm just, same pattern. Back to the G. Now, the third chord is D, which is probably the most popular guitar chord. And so that's going to be index finger on the second fret G middle finger on the second fret high E and third fret B string. Okay, so we have the D chord. And if you've noticed, the ring finger is on the third fret for all three chords. So you can kind of pivot off of that finger, like just lock that down as like an anchor for the other chord. So if I have a D chord, I put my pinky down and then take these and move them over. And then if I want to do G to D, I can keep that ring finger there and move this here. So all I did that time was I started on the D chord same rhythm pattern, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. So I did two of those patterns on D, one on C add nine and one on G. All right, and if you're feeling real fancy, you can split one of those rhythm patterns up between multiple chords, like. So I'm still doing down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, but now I'm even subdividing the changes. Down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down. That's just one example. You can come up with your own and experiment, but I'll speed it up a little bit. One other thing on the pattern, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. We can keep adding to that. That's just a starting point. We can do the first variation that I would show you. And it's in that new strumming course. It's free. Down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. So I'm just adding a subdivision of strums at the end of that. Down. First we did down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. Now I'm showing you down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. It's just an extra. And you can mix and match those. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it helped you 
once again, that was a nice beginner entry level thing that you can work on and improve. And really anything in that video is gonna help you get better at guitar if you're trying to learn guitar. And if you wanna do, you know, many more patterns like that where I play along with you, I got a course, Beginner Strum Patterns for Beginners. So check the link down there for that. Thanks again for supporting Marty Music. Hope to see you again real soon. Take care.